This is one of a multiple videos showing you how to download, install, and configure a GNS3 on a Windows 10 PC. So now that the GNS3 VM is integrated, we can add devices to our topology. So firstly, I'll add an iOS router. In this example, a Dynamips router. And then I'll add a viral image. I already have a 3725 running on the local server. But what I'll do here is run another iOS router on the GNS3 VM. I'm gonna use an existing image, which I previously downloaded, and I'm gonna click Next. In this example, I'll call it 3725 VM and click Next. As previously demonstrated, this router requires more RAM. You can see the minimum maximum RAM requirements by clicking on this link. See my previous video where I show you how to work out the minimum and maximum RAM requirements for your router. I'm gonna click Next. I'll add some modules to the router and then I'll add some serial wicks to the router and click Next. An idle PC value has been found. I'm gonna click Finish and then click OK. So what I can do now is drag a Cisco 3725 router to the workspace. I can drag another one to the workspace and then I'll zoom in and then connect the two routers via their fast ethernet interface and then show the labels, and I can then start up the routers. These routers are running on the GNS3 VM. They are not running locally, but rather running on the GNS3 VM. So router one is booting up. So is router two, I'll make the font bigger here. So on router one, I'll go onto the fast ethernet interface, zero slash zero. Now shut to the interface and configure the router with an IP address of 10.1.1.1. On router two, do something similar. Go onto the fast ethernet interface, now shut it. Give the router an IP address of 10.1.1.2. And what I should be able to do now is ping from router two to router one, which I can. And then I should be able to ping router two from router one, which I can. So at this point, I've successfully downloaded and integrated the GNS3 VM with the GNS3 GUI. I then added two Dynamips routers, in other words, iOS router images to the GNS3 VM, and I've got them talking to one another. What I'll do now is download an appliance from the GNS3 marketplace to do that, go to Marketplace Appliances and then search for an appliance. In this example, I'm going to download the Cisco IOS V appliance. This is a viral appliance. So I'll save that to my local hard drive. And then in GNS3, I'll go to File, Import Appliance, select Cisco IOS V, and then import the appliance onto the GNS3 VM. Appliances in the GNS3 marketplace require the GNS3 VM. This is a Cisco IOS V router. KVM is required, which means that you need to be using a VMware rather than VirtualBox. So I'm gonna click Next, run it on the GNS3 VM, and click Next. Click Next again. Now I need an image as well as a startup config for this appliance. So I'll select the startup config and click download. That'll automatically download the startup config to my PC. So I'll click save to save it. I'll click refresh and you can see that the startup config has been found. I need the operating system, however, for 
that appliance. I've got the iOS V Layer 2 operating system here, but not the iOS V appliance. So I'll need to copy that to my downloads directory. So I've copied that to my downloads directory. So back in GNS3, I can click refresh. And notice I'm told that this image is ready to be installed. So I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna say yes to install the iOS V appliance. It's then copied to the GNS3 VM. That's successfully being copied, so I'm gonna click next. A summary is displayed, I'm gonna click next. We're told that there is no password on the device. I'm gonna click finish. iOS V appliance is now installed, click OK. And now under routers, I've got an iOS V appliance available, which I'll drag to the workspace. So that's now available, and I'll connect the one 3725 router to the Cisco iOS V router, and I'll start up the Cisco iOS V router, and open up a console. I'll change the appearance. You can see that the iOS V router is now booting. So these three routers, the two 3725 routers and the iOS V router are all running on the GNS3 VM. It's recommended to run devices like these on the GNS3 VM rather than running them locally. So while I'm waiting for the iOS V router to boot up, I'll configure fast ethernet 0 slash 1 on router 1 with an IP address of 10121 slash 24 mask. And while I'm here, I'll enable EIGRP on all interfaces. And I'll enable EIGRP on router 2 on all interfaces. So what we need to do now is simply wait for the iOS V router to boot up, and then we'll be able to configure it as part of this topology. So the router's booted up. I can go onto the gigabit interface and no shut it, and give the router an IP address of 10.1.2.2 slash 24 mask, and it should be able to ping router 1, 10, 1, 2, 1, which it can. So I'll enable EIGRP 100 on all interfaces. On router 1, we can see that we've got a new neighbor relationship established. So show IP EIGRP neighbor. Notice we've got two neighbor relationships established. On the iOS V router, I should be able to ping 10.1.1.2, which is router two, and that ping succeeds. On router two, debug IP ICMP. Do that ping again, and we can see the debugs. So the iOS V router is able to ping router two via router one. So that was an integration with Cisco iOS V, which is a viral router. I downloaded the appliance from the GNS3 marketplace and then installed the iOS V router on the GNS3 VM. I've also got two Cisco iOS 3725 routers running on the GNS3 VM and I'm able to integrate the routers and get the routers to ping each other. So that was an example of how to integrate the GNS3 VM with the GNS3 GUI and build a topology in GNS3. Don't forget, as always, to save your configurations. So I'm gonna use WR on each router to save the configuration including the 
Cisco IOS V router. Once those configurations have been saved, I can shut down the GNS3 topology and then exit the GNS3 GUI. The local server is shut down. And at the same time, the GNS3 VM is shut down. I can then close the entire topology and I'll be able to restart GNS3 and restore that topology and configuration at a later date. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.